What is Piedmont, Italy like? Piedmont is truly a land of a thousand hilltop towns. It is arguably Italy's most elegant region. Its palaces and castles so well preserved. So much remains undisturbed, unchanged. It's a land of outstanding natural beauty. The birthplace of slow food, the home to multi-generational food artisans, a top purveyor of fine wines and rare white truffles. This region has made in Italy stamped all over it. Piedmont is the second largest region in Italy after Sicily. Italian regions are kind of like states in the U.S. Piedmont is in the northwest corner bordering France and Switzerland. Its largest cities are Turin, Alessandria, and Asti. From where I live in Piedmont, you are approximately an hour and a half from Turin, Milan, and Genoa, and from the coast and the beaches of the Italian Riviera. About two hours from Cinque Terre and Portofino, and it's just a few hours train ride to Venice, Bologna, Florence, and the French Riviera, and a two-hour drive to some of the best skiing in Europe, to the Alps and the Matterhorn and Lake Lugano in Switzerland. The landscape and the feeling of much of Piedmont is quite rural. However, unless you are in the more mountainous region to the north or south, you are not isolated. There is almost always a town or a hilltop town or a small city within a 5 to 15 minute drive. The hilltop towns were partially developed to be a day's ride and back by horse, so the distances between them are not vast. Italy is not a large country in comparison to the United States. It is about three quarters of the size of California, but has nearly twice the population of California. Piedmont is about the size of Vermont. The landscape of Piedmont is greatly varied. From the high peaks of the Alps to the flatlands and wooded banks of the Po River, to the gently rolling hills of the Monferrato and Barolo wine regions, to the forested alpine regions near the Apennines. And did I mention the Lakes District, including the fabulous Lago Maggiore and my personal favorite, Lago Dorta? Even though it is not common knowledge, Piedmont is one of the oldest and most important wine and food regions in all of Italy. Much of the landscape is covered in vineyards and nut tree groves and small hold vegetable fields. Piedmont produces more DOCG wines than any other region in Italy, including the highly coveted Barolo and Barbaresco wines made from the Nebbiolo grape grown nowhere else in the world. Ferrero Rocher gets many of the hazelnuts for its world-famous Nutella spread and chocolate hazelnut truffle candies from Piedmont. The flat banks of the River Po is the main Carnaroli rice producing region in the world. And of course, Piedmont is the world's most famous region for white truffles, one of the world's most expensive foods. White truffles cannot easily be cultivated and grow best in the wild near oak, hazelnut, and certain other trees. Coffee, really good coffee, is five euros a pound and one euro a cup at your local cafe, as well as at the fanciest restaurants. Excellent wine can be bought direct from the vineyards for five euros a bottle. Cheese is about the same cost as U.S. prices, but it's made by the artisans down the street, from cows and goats who graze freely on natural grasslands. Eating out is infinitely less expensive than in the United States. A remarkable, memorable, nine-course meal with wine at my favorite restaurant is 45 euros. The vegetarian option is 40 euros. A whole margarita pizza at my vote for best pizzeria in Piedmont is 5 euros. At any ristorante, bar, osteria, or trattoria, 
bowls of piping hot handmade pastas are eight euros. In the evening before dinner, you can enjoy aperitivo time, a generous plate of finger snacks with a glass of wine or beer for four or five euros. And the best part about the food and wine is it's all locally grown on family owned farms and vineyards. Many hilltop towns have a weekly farmer's market and the fresh, just picked produce is affordable and of the highest quality. Piedmont does not lack in its share of world-renowned festivals that bring visitors, connoisseurs, and revelers from across the globe. The Slow Food Cheese Festival in Bra in September every other odd year. The annual White Truffle Festival in Alba runs October through November. The Chocolate Festival in Turin in November. The Festival of Festivals in Asti in September. Most small towns have food, music and dance festivals all summer long and seasonal festivals throughout the year. Unless you're in the northern mountainous regions, Piedmont, like most of Italy, lies in a temperate zone. There are four seasons. Summertime temperatures range between 75 and 85, but can climb into the 90s and above. But the interiors of the classic stone houses stay cool and comfortable. In the wintertime, it does snow, it has snowed about twice, a few inches, each winter we have been here. Winter temps rarely dip below freezing during the day, with general winter daytime temperatures ranging between 35 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The spring and fall are lovely. My favorite time is mid-May through the end of June, when everything is absolutely bursting with growth and green and life. It rains throughout the year, but it is not a rainy climate. There is occasional heavy fog a few times a year. I consider our house to be in the country, yet a five minute bike ride down the road and I can be in my local hilltop town cafe having coffee or at the bank, post office, pharmacy, or general store. Within a 10 minute drive in any direction, I can be at any one of six hilltop towns. It is a 20 minute drive to one of my favorite small cities in Italy that has a historic center, opera house, theater, and a famous monthly antique market. Almost every town has a general store, a cafe, and a pharmacy. Most have several restaurants. Most have weekly farmer's markets. From where I live, there are several large grocery stores within a 10 to 20 minute drive. There are three hospitals within a 30 minute drive. Internet service is very good. We are both self-employed and we are online all day. It is an hour and 20 minute drive to the major international Malpensa airport outside of Milan. There are four to five grocery stores within a 15 minute drive. Where I live and travel every day, in and around the small towns and villages, I don't hear of much crime. I never feel like I have to worry about my safety or the security of my house. In nearly three years, I have heard of one attempted house break-in. There are no guns. Even in the cities, you don't hear about person-to-person -person violence happening. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Piedmont was a very wealthy and prosperous region when the House of Savoy ruled and Turin briefly became the capital of Italy. The magnificent castles and palaces that populate the hilltop towns and cities are testaments to this. Turin is arguably one of the most magnificent cities in Italy, with its immense squares, grand palaces, and architectural wonders. Turin is the home of Fiat and Alba, the headquarters of Ferrara Rocher, two companies that have created much wealth and stability in the region. In the towns and countryside, there is a very strong local economy system. Residents are producers, vegetables, fruits, crops, wine, cheeses, meats, etc. are distributors, stores, restaurants, and our service providers, electricians, doctors, pharmacists, plumbers. These local economies have always existed, and as such, they still provide resistance and protection against political and world events. I describe my existence in Piedmont as old-fashioned, timeless, in a land of abundant natural beauty. The rural parts of Piedmont offer a simpler way of life and a people who want to hold on to tradition. Many hilltop towns have not changed much in the last hundred years. I have found that this is a place where it is very easy to slow down, but it is also easy for me, if I want, 
to venture out of my locale to any type and size of modern city or popular area within an hour's drive or so. Piedmont versus Tuscany. Tuscany, Tuscany, Tuscany. Who doesn't love Tuscany? The Italian epicenter of beauty, romance, super Tuscans, and sunflowers. But there's just as much to love in Piedmont. It's just not as famous. The difference is, Piedmont has fewer tourists, even though it has an unlimited number of sites to marvel at and landscapes to ponder. Piedmont has 17 DOCG wines, not just 11. The Piedmont elevations are more varied, the hills are higher, the valleys lower. There are more mountain views in Piedmont as it is surrounded by the Alps to the west and the north, the Dolomites to the east, the Apennines to the south. Piedmont is greener year-round. Piedmont is without a doubt more affordable with a lower cost of living. House and land prices in Piedmont are more affordable, about half the cost of those in Tuscany. Tuscany is picture-perfect, buttoned up, ready for the ball. Piedmont is the Tuscany of Italians, unchanged and imperfectly Italy. Tuscany is where I love to visit. Piedmont is where I love to live.